Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another action figure review. And today, we'll be taking a look at the Godzilla High Grade Gashapon Diorama Mogira. Now, this version of Mogira comes from the 1994 film Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, which I've talked about before, and like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail. It's not the worst movie I've ever seen, but it's definitely far from my favorite. Um, Mogira herself, I say her only because of Monster Island Buddies. Uh, she originally appeared in a movie from, I believe, 1967. I think that's when it came out. Uh, but she came from a movie then called um, The Mysterians, I think. I haven't seen it. I don't really know anything about it. All I know is that she first appeared in that movie. So, yeah. Uh, Mogira herself is... Honestly, I like Mechagodzilla more. To me, she's just there, I guess. Not really my favorite, so, yeah. Uh, anyway, before we take a look at Mogira herself, we'll take a quick look at her base. And, again, it's just the same purple here. Uh, something I really like here is, like, um... Like, it's supposed to be, like, her base here is supposed to be, like, a military base. So, like, she's in, like, um... I don't know what you'd call it, like, um... The launch station or whatever? I don't know, bear with me, but... Yeah, I think that's really cool, but... Yeah, uh, it's sculpted very nicely, uh, no, no painting or anything like that, it's just, you know, one solid piece, so, yeah, it doesn't really like to stay, or, er, well, earlier when I was filming this, it was popping out like crazy, but here it's, <laughs> it's staying, I guess, so, yeah. Anyway, now for Mogira herself, and first, we'll take a look at the paint, and the painting on Mogira is very nice, just like with the rest of these, uh, you know, recent Gashapon figures, at least in this set, anyway. So, most of her body is this metallic silver, which does look really nice. And we do have hints of uh, a metallic blue, which also looks very nice, painted very cleanly. Uh, her eyes here are painted yellow. And her little nose drill thing, whatever this is, uh, this is painted a grayish color. And her cone hands here are painted the same color. I again, I'm not... Mogira... Her design is just stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. I know people like her a lot, but to me, I'm, <laughs> I'm not a fan. But, yeah, um, overall, uh, the painting on Mogira is very nice. All of the metallic painting looks great. Everything is very clean, very precise, and I do like that a lot. So, the painting on this figure is good, so it gets a pass. Now, I'll take a look at the um, articulation. There is none, so we're just going to get right into the sculpt. And the sculpting here is very nice, uh, very spot on to what we see in Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, and I do really like it a lot. Uh, this is going to sound really weird and like out of um, out of the blue, but the idea of Mogira having a tail was always weird to me, uh, mainly because uh, this figure here, this was like my Mogira figure from when I was a kid. Um, I lost her tail, so for the longest time, you know, to me, Mogira just didn't have a tail. And whenever I see her having a tail, to me, it's just like, it's just so weird, because I'm used to her not having a tail, because uh, of this figure here, but I digress. Uh, overall, the sculpting here looks very nice, very accurate to what we see in Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla, and I do like that a lot. So the sculpting on this figure gets a pass. Now I'll take a look at the detailing, and the detailing on this figure, again, is great. So let's take a closer look. So... We can see all of the uh, mechanical detailing, all of the panels and everything are detailed very nicely, uh, very well defined. And everything here just looks great. Her cone hands, again, that's just that's stupid, I'm sorry. Um, they are detailed very nicely. And, um, yeah, just a lot of nice uh, paneling, a lot of like mechanical detailing, which looks great. And, yeah, back here... Again, a more um, really nice detailing and everything. And even under the feet here, uh, the detailing looks very good. And I do like that a lot. So, yeah. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the detailing on this figure. The detailing on this figure is great. So the detailing definitely gets a pass. So, at the end of the day, should you get this? Again, I think this uh, entire set of... Um, you know, Gashapon figures. I think it's really good. Every figure is very, like, high quality as far as paint, as far as, like, you know, detailing and sculpting, and even the plastic quality feels really, like, sturdy, and I really do like that. Uh, these, like, figures are just getting better and better. I remember, like, back in 2019, you know, when this line first dropped, we had 
Shin Godzilla, uh, Godzilla 1954, Godzilla from Godzilla King of the Monsters, and King Ghidorah from King of the Monsters. And it was, it wasn't terrible, but it was just, you know, it was okay. But with this newer set, these figures are actually very high quality, and I really like them. So, yeah, uh, the entire set is about 40 bucks on Amazon, which might be a little expensive, but honestly, these are very high quality figures, so it's not the worst thing. You can definitely do worse with $40, but... I digress. Anyway, get this figure if you can, and if you want to know how big she is, here she is next to the 2019 uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters Godzilla figure by Jack Specific. Here is the NECA Godzilla 2019. Here is the Playmates Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong, the upcoming movie. And of course, here is some hand sanitizer. And here is Dr. Billy Grant. Alright, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zek out.